Hello, my name is Mark Ellis from Stick and Rudder Studios, and uh, today I'd like to give you a short uh, tutorial on how to use the Nav Data Reader tool uh, to create an updated COM database for FSATC Chatter. Now, when you uh, download FSATC Chatter, whether it's the demo version, the free demo, or the full, the one with the full clip set, it does ship with a default COM database which uh, has fairly accurate frequencies for the United States and Canada and all the airports around the world. But where it uh, is not very accurate is with the center frequencies, the radar frequencies uh, in other parts of the world outside the United States and Canada. Uh, frankly, it was a little hard to get a hold of that data when uh, we were writing this, uh, this plugin. So there is a tool, a free tool called Nav Data Reader that is actually part of the tool set that uh, even little nav map uses to scan all of the scenery files in either FSX, FSX Steam Edition, P3D, or Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, and it creates a very robust uh, navigation database. Now out of that database, we're only interested in the COM frequencies, but if you create one of these, FSATC Chatter can read that updated uh, navigation database and it will use frequencies uh, for the automatic controllers that will match you know what your simulators got so it's a fairly straightforward process to go through and uh, and, and do this and what I'm going to do is show you how to download the tool how to operate it and how to install the resulting uh, updated uh, navigation database okay so with that let's go, go on over to where the releases are now the link to where to get to get to the nav data reader releases is in the FSATC chatter user guide, but it's actually up on GitHub at this URL right here. Now, uh, as of the time I created this tutorial, the nav data reader that we're using is 1.0.21. beta. And the reason this tool is still in beta right now is that um, with the advent of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, Microsoft and uh, Sobo changed uh, the way you find where the scenery files are. So um, this tool is in beta. I would imagine in uh, some number of weeks or a month or so, uh, this will actually get released, but you can use the beta now, it works perfectly fine. So uh, you'll need to have beta 19 or above. We're gonna do this with beta 21. All you do is open this little assets uh, expander here, and we're going to download the Nav Data Reader uh, Windows 10 uh, zip file. And you can see it comes down pretty quick. It's not very big. And if we bring Windows Explorer over here, uh, you can see I'm looking at my downloads folder. Here it is. And we're just going to extract this. I use 7-zip. I'm going to extract the right, the right here. And it creates a folder called Nav Data Reader. Now I can get rid of the zip file. I don't need it anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, now we need to run a DOS command prompt uh, to be able to actually get to the Nav Data Reader executable, which uh, uses a DOS command line to operate it. Um, I happen to have a link down here in my toolbar to the DOS prompt, but if you don't use this very often, you probably don't have this in your in your taskbar. So it's pretty simple to run it. You just simply come over here to search and type run CMD. And this brings up a DOS box. Now we're already at uh, users slash mark, which is my username on Windows 10. So all we need to do is do a CD to downloads. And if we do a directory here, there's that nav data reader folder that we extracted from the archive. We're going to CD into that. And if we do a dir, you'll see that the executable we're trying to run here is nav data reader.exe. Now the command lines that you need are actually in the FSATC chatter users guide. And I'm just going to bring that PDF right over here so that we can see it. And here's a list of all of the various uh, database file names that we would look for depending upon the simulator that FS ATC Chatter is going to connect to. And the reason why we do it this way is some people may actually have 
not only FS2020 installed on their machines, but they may also be still playing around with uh, P3D V5 as an example. Uh, so we actually will look for the proper navigation database file name based upon the actual simulator that FSATC Chatter connects to. So in our case, we're going to do a demo. We're going we're gonna to actually make it for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And if you come down here, here's the actual command lines that you need to run to create those databases. So in this example, it's going to be NAP Data Reader. Dash F tells us what kind of a simulator it is. So this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Dash O is what the output file name needs to be. And we want it to be NAP Data Dash MSFS Dot SQLite. So we're just going to highlight this. I'll copy it, and then I'll come over to the DOS prompt, and if you just right-click, it'll paste that command line right in there, and then we can just run it. Now, this is going to take a few minutes to run. It's uh, The scenery files are quite large in uh, FS2020, um, and this tool is going to go through all of the BGL files. It's going to find uh, all of the COM information, plus it finds a whole lot of other things like runways and, and things of that nature that'll get put in the SQLite database. And when it's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and copy it over and put it into the FSATC Chatter root folder. So let's just let this uh, finish up, take a few minutes. Okay, and you can see that it uh, finished here. And er if everything went well, we should be able to do a directory here. And sure enough, here's our navdata-msfs.sqlite. In this file now, we're going to want to copy this over and put it into the FSATC Chatter root folder. So let's bring up Windows Explorer. Here's our SQLite file, and it is pretty big. Um, obviously, we don't need all this data, but uh, there's extra tables in there that are used for a uh, little nav map, but we're only going to look at the uh, COM tables, and we're just going to copy this. And then I happen to have FSATC Chatter loaded on over here under uh, my FS2020 plugins. We're just going to go right to the root folder, and we will paste it right in here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start up uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we're going to run FSATC Chatter. And I just want to confirm that in the FSATC Chatter log file, that it is actually uh, detecting this file, opening it up, and, and actually using it. So let's start up uh, FS2020. OK, so we have uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 up and running. And now we're just going to run FSATC Chatter. And what I want to do is look in the log file here. And this is what we're looking for right here. See where it says loading facilities from D colon FS2020 plugins nav data msfs.sqlite. And we just want to make sure that, it, that it's actually reading that new database um, that we put in here. Um, now, do notice, it only does this after it makes the connection to the simulator because it doesn't know which simulator you're planning on connecting to until you've actually connected. Um, you can see in the beginning here, it actually opened up the default SQLite database, and then once we connected to FS2020, it detected that um, that was a simulator. It then looked for this uh, specialized SQLite file if, we, if it's, it was there, and it will use it. So that's about it. It's pretty straightforward and simple to do. Do keep in mind that if you install new scenery, uh, periodically you probably want to go back and rerun this uh, because any new scenery that you installed might have um, different COM information than what ships by default with uh, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator. All right, great. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you uh, enjoy using FSATC Chatter.